Whether it's science or a salon, our style is 100% DIY over at our house. I love finding inspiration in fashion and bringing it into my home decor. Forum member I randomly yell stuff asked how she can braid fabric without it fraying. So this week, we're gonna learn how to braid. Lay your fabric out flat. Measure three equal size strips and cut them out. Take one strip, good side down, and fold one side in. Take the other side of that strip and fold twice over and pin down. You should have two clean folds and no unfinished edges showing. Take the ends and fold the unfinished edges under and pin closed. Do this to all three of your strips. Now bring your strips over to your machine and stitch closed. Leave the end attached to the needle and left under the presser foot. Now fan out all three pieces. To braid, take your right piece and bring it over, making it now the middle piece. Now take your left piece, move it over to the middle, making it the center piece. You will continue taking the left to the middle, the right to the middle, the left to the middle, the right to the middle. Take the ends of all three strips, stack them on top of each other, and sew together until you've reached the end. Sew the finished braid closed, and voila! You can now braid just about anything. You can use your new braided fabric as a curtain tie, upgrade a table lip or lampshade, wear your braid as a bag strap, a headband, a belt, or embellish apparel that you already have. Well, we're halfway there. We'll finish up when we return. I'm not buying it, Lloyd. You cannot not agree. America I mean, has made its choice. We have not sold out. I would love to sell out. Here we are in Dave and Katie's Brooklyn home. Here are Dave's DIY tips. Katie is chillin' on a flora and fauna tapestry that Dave tacked in with upholstery tacks. Plushies and silkscreen pillows made by friends makes your home cozy and fun. Dimmers are your light scheme's best friends. Keep a loved one's heirlooms or memorabilia together and on a special shelf. Add art to a rotary phone or a filing cabinet. Dave cut out countries from an old European map and upgraded his filing cabinet by adding them into the label panels. And then if someone's like, what drawer is it in? I can say, oh, it's in France. Group your collections together and display them on door frames and shelves. Make finding your keys a breeze by attaching a hook to your door frame. Both Dave and I recommend this incredible book by Craig Thompson. Frame your posters for a more polished look. Arcade games aren't just for kids when you're at Dave's. And neither are Transformers. Set up your work area by a relaxing view. Dave's art collection includes these spacey city pieces by Joseph. Joseph is a homeless man who can be found on MySpace or in the 8th Avenue L train station in Manhattan. Make your own where the beep is my car map for when you have to park your car outside of the two to three block radius and you have a hard time finding where it is. The final and coolest tip from Dave is having a neon sign light up in lieu of an annoying phone ring. Genius, Dave, genius. This week's quick tip, use a collapsible table from Chinatown as an easy, instant dining area. Thanks for joining us. And until next week, remember, your nest needs you.